Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for January. Now keep in mind this is for January. January. This is being recorded in December. This, today is December 12th. But this is a reading for January 2019. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up for January. I focus on love. Keep in mind this reading may not be for you. And it may not resonate right now. If you are watching this in December, I'm going to have to put this out there because there's a lot of people that don't understand that. Check back in January. It could resonate now. It could. It definitely could. But it could resonate a hell of a lot more in January. Aries. And when you watch this in January, try to think back to what was happening around December 12th because that might have something to do with wherever you're at in January. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know for the month of January? Dear God, Angel, Spirits, and Universe. Woo, we have some flippers. Ooh. Something may have brought you backwards. You may be trying to control something that you shouldn't be. Now, this is a, a, a follow your dreams kind of energy. That's what I'm getting from it. Maybe there's a, a message coming in. We're going to get some more cards, but this is something that is there could be some flirting going on or something like that. I don't know. Let's see what, what comes up to go with it. A card could mean so many things. It's like they're keeping it close to their heart, so somebody is keeping their emotions close, but they're there, you know what I mean? Their feelings. There's some feelings. There could be some feelings developing. Oh. Moving on. From something that had no growth. Something has held you back from love. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Something has held you back from opening your heart. From getting love from offering love or receiving love, something has held you back and it looks like you're moving in a different direction. There's been a lack of growth, a lack of passion. Yeah, somebody's making a decision to move on or they've made a decision to move on. Remember, this could go all the way back to December 12th. Maybe way back in December you have decided to move on. Maybe there was some extreme event that pushed you away. Okay? Something pushed you away. Something did. Something pushed you away, right? No growth? No passion? No desire? I mean, come on now. Definitely good reason to get the hell out, right? So somebody is being probably... You know, this is a universe card. It's like... The decision has been made to move away from something that was unstable and <clears throat> so the decision has been made and it's something that you should be celebrating because it's going to allow you to open your heart again, you know what I mean? Get the love that you deserve. 
bring some, you know, follow your dreams. I remember the dreams came up. It's like it's going to help you in some way. This moving away is going to help you in some way. Because you're going to receive a gift. This is gifts. The Three of Cups is about gifts, receiving some sort of gift. It is something to celebrate. After you've been stuck for so long, right? You've been stuck. Damn it. Ooh. Damn. Yeah, okay. So it looks like somebody's heart is, is opening up. Somebody's heart is opening up. Somebody is receiving an offer of love or they're offering love. You could be the one. If you are the man, the Aries man, you may be, your heart may be opening up to love. I mean, more than ever in January. You you probably walk away from something and, and head into a, a new relationship by the looks of things. It looks like you're making a decision to follow your heart. Especially for the Aries man. And I think that somebody has stubbornly held on to something that was impractical for quite some time. They may have stayed in a situation because it was financially stable and closed their hair off. But now I think we're letting go of that. We're letting go of that ungroundedness you know it's like well there's still some ungroundedness here because this is ungroundedness and this is ungroundedness as well this is emotional very emotional king so it's look like you guys are you guys are feeling more open to love in 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 january than you have in a long time i think that you guys were closed off from love for because there was no growth in a situation but there's been some sort of rude awakening, some sort of shift, some sort of breakthrough, breakdown. The tower or the universe comes in to remove things from your life that need to be taken down. So there's something, I mean, this is a, a serious break right here. It is. Something is being, you know, cleared out. I mean, that looks like a hurricane or a tornado or something. What the hell is that? Yeah, it's like a hurricane. Something's happening. It's like something is being uh, broken down. I mean, what happens when there's a hurricane? I mean, shit falls apart. So, I mean, shit falls apart. It gets washed away. It gets thrown all over the place. So, I mean, and you usually, I mean, if there's a bad hurricane and it takes your house down, you can't go back. You have to rebuild again. So, I think that you guys are leaving something that was needed to go. So that you could rebuild again. And I think you are rebuilding again. I think you're rebuilding your ability to to love. You know what I mean? And I do feel as though there's an offer of love here. There's a feeling of love. There's a feeling of playfulness. There's a feeling of happiness. And there's a feeling of... Uh, I'm ready for love, you know. It's like I made the decision that I want a relationship, I want romance, and I want love. So somebody has made a decision to move in a new direction because I'm ready for love. I'm ready for love. If you are the Aries female and you are single, you could have somebody coming in. You could have somebody coming in offering you some love. If you are the Aries man, it's probably you opening your heart to love, okay? And I feel it is absolutely a time to celebrate because you're going to receive some sort of gift. It, it, this is a gift for moving on. So it looks like you're making a decision to move on. And as you do so, you're receiving some sort of genuine offer or you're offering. Okay, it's like the heart is opening. The heart is filling with joy and happiness. So it's like there's a, that's what I see. And it's after being stubborn and closed off for quite some time so yeah yeah you're breaking free from a toxic situation you're breaking free it's taking back control of your life if you have been stuck which you have in a unhealthy uh less than passionate situation if you have been stuck in that situation 
it looks to me as though you are breaking free. You're breaking free. That's like that that chain, that bond is is totally being cut. Okay. You may have lost your focus for a little while. You may have lost your concentration. This is the past over here, right here. You've lost your focus, you've lost your concentration. You may have felt like you couldn't start over, but it feels like you are reaching a point where you are ready to, you're ready to, ready to open your heart after being distracted by some toxic situation for so long. You were distracted by something that wasn't stable, wasn't secure. You may have been waiting for somebody to change and this person ain't never gonna change. It's like it's a dead end. You've come to realize that whatever has kept you stuck is a dead end. And you're ready for happiness. You're ready to experience love. It looks to me as though you guys are about to believe again. It's like you're, you're able to have faith and trust. It's like some faith and trust in... New beginnings are starting to come back to you. I think your inner guide has been guiding you. You may have been receiving guidance from above or healing or something like that. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You have a Capricorn. You have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. So I see earth and water here. There is. There's earth and water, okay? Earth and water. That's what we got here. So, it looks as though you could be headed towards a commitment. Interesting. Now we have you, probably. Proud, holding your head up high. New vision, new life. Ready. Ready for my next adventure. You have a new opportunity, like, right in your hand. And this, this, this hurricane had to come in. It had to. It had to come in so that you could find your strength and your confidence to rise above something. And I think that you guys are very confident this month. I see a lot of attractiveness. I see a high vibration. It's like you're vibrating at a much higher level than you have been. And you are absolutely, you're being divinely guided as well. This is like the high priest. This is like somebody's guiding you. guiding you towards change. This is a card of change. Guiding you to take that next step. So I feel like you guys are taking the power in your own hands. You're finding the ability to deal with opposition. I think that right now you you're you're trying to find balance and I think you are finding balance. I think that you are becoming more flexible. And if you've lost faith, I think your faith is starting to be restored. I really do. Your faith in yourself. Your faith in love. Faith in yourself and faith in love. It's like, and this is restored as well. Something is being restored. It's like your heart, and I keep seeing that. 
It's like your heart is being... Oh, I can't think of the word. It's like... <laughs> what just came to me was, you know, how the, and I, and you know, it's December 12th. It was, and I haven't, I don't watch any TV. My TV hasn't been turned on in six months. So I was just the Grinch, you know, how the heart, the Grinch's heart got bigger, bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, you know, from, from being small, being the Grinch, you know, he, he, he was going through his own pain, whatever, and his heart was small. And I just see the heart, like, just like, 10 times bigger that day, whatever it was. It's like your heart is being healed, okay? You know? And I'm not saying fully healed. It's like your heart is, you're feeling more love than you have in a long time. Unconditional love of some sort. Maybe it's self-love, I don't know. Now we're heading back towards the past. You've lost sleep. You've had regrets. You've felt guilty. But now, this is a nines or closure. It's like closing that chapter. It's releasing the guilt, releasing the regrets, releasing the sleepless nights. That stuff's going away. Because you're headed in a new direction. It's like you are definitely headed in a new direction. I think that you guys are making a choice. Twos are about choices. You're making a choice to go down that new road and leave the past behind. And I think that you have a new exciting opportunity. Like right, right, right. I mean right, 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 right in front of you. Like it's a beautiful opportunity too. It really is. Um... You have invested time and energy into a situation that left you really, really dissatisfied. And I think you're at the point where you're giving up on that. You are. It's like, I, I'm not going to let this dissatisfying, unrealistic sadness and worry and anxiety and depression that has held me back hold me back anymore. I think that you guys are moving in a new direction. And you've been, you've, you have a new opportunity and I think you've missed, you've missed it. You've missed it. You've missed out on love for quite some time by focusing on a situation that was, that left you so discontent and alone. I think you guys were focused on something that was really disheartening. And you may have stayed in that situation because of money. And it feels as though God, this is a Lord, it really is, is offering you a new opportunity for love. They're saying, here, here, open your heart, open your heart, open your heart. I think you're receiving a new opportunity for love. And you may feel like you're not ready for it. You may feel like you're not ready for it, but there's overwhelming heartfelt connection because I feel the heartfelt connection here I really do I feel like there's a heartfelt connection with somebody that you may feel like you're not ready for but they're offering it to you because Perhaps it's time for you to be loved. Perhaps it's time to, for you to get what you deserve. Per, per, perhaps it's time for you to no longer be alone. Maybe it's time to, for you to close that chapter of loneliness. I think that... I think that you...
are going down a new path. I really do. You're definitely going down a new path. I think that you've gone through some sort of awakening. This is like a Jesus consciousness here with these two cards. It's like all of a sudden you are wide awake and you're more conscious than you ever have been before. More conscious to love. Because we got a lot of love here. Love, love, love. It's like your heart is being, you're being brought some love. That's for damn sure. And you may have, be scared of it. You may have tried to resist it for some time. And you may have stayed in a situation that was financially, you know, it, it took care of you financially, but that was it. You know, there's assets there. There was assets, but there wasn't any love. You may have stayed for the assets, but that's it. And I think that you have become consciously aware that it's not about the assets, it's about the love. And I think because you get this new awareness, you go through this sort of awakening or this conscious, Jesus consciousness, you know, your faith and love is restored as you move in a new direction and somebody's entering your life and that is happening. Okay. Somebody is entering your life in which all of a sudden your heart is like boom 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 love is real. Oh. You may have been dealing with a person that was selfish and smothering and jealous and possessive. And this person held you back from moving forward. Moving forward. You were dealing with somebody who Closed your heart off to love, right? Made you feel like you were less than worthy. But it looks like now you've become consciously aware that you are worthy. That's what it looks like to me. And you're headed towards abundance, extreme abundance. You're headed towards something long term, something solid. You could be receiving some sort of extreme, really extreme abundance if that makes you feel like this is too good to be true, okay? This could even be a new home. You could be moving to a new home, something that is not only very... Uh, glamorous but it involves love as well so I feel like you guys are definitely starting over in a new direction away from this situation that held you back you are you're you're headed you're headed out of this depressive state that you've been in you've been in, de in a depressive state of not mind and i think somebody has caused you to feel depressed somebody has caused this depression you invested time and energy and money into somebody who took you for granted and it looks like now you've found your strength and your courage to stand up for yourself hold your head up high and head out and I think because you head out and you find your confidence, other people see it. Other people are attracted to you and they see your, they see your um, new vibration. 
I do see that you have a new vibration here. It's like your vibration shifts from doom and gloom to very, very vibrational. I mean, high vibration, very, very uh, exciting, very, very attractive, very, very um, confident. I mean, you go from depressed, uh, guilty, anxious, whatever, the whole sad to I am so good. I'm on top of the world. Like you go from uh, the dark cloud to the rainbow. Okay. So, I mean, that's just a, you know, idea of what this is. I think that you're you're going through a major shift, okay? You are uh, your your awareness, your awakening, you're going through some sort of huge huge shift. And it's going to lead you towards a lot of abundance. So I think in January you are probably going to you know, it really looks like you're going to you're going to probably I mean, we got a lot of love here. So you you probably could receive an offer of love from somebody absolutely positively new love this is new love it is i know that it is it starts out as friendship it starts out as flirting it starts out as a crush and then it leads to commitment it leads to commitment you may feel like you know what i'm not ready for this but there's boom 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 there's butterflies that's what i mean that's what it is it looks like like butterflies start happening and you 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 realize that this person could be you know the the the, the long-term potential here the commitment the one that you want to marry so i think that you could meet somebody in january or even in december that you know it starts out as friendship it starts out as a crush it starts out as flirting and it le it could lead to marriage <laughs> it really could so hey you could be, and you could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be dealing with a Virgo, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's what I see. Whatever this is, it definitely could lead to something very long term. You also have Leo here. So, um, you guys have been in a situation that was lacking growth for quite some time it was lacking growth it was holding you back from success but it looks like you're taking the action something somebody's helping you i mean this is this is like some sort of awakening in the in the in the tower is a rude awakening so it's like you guys go through some sort of event that wakes you up it's like boom you know that's what it is all of a sudden you get this wake up call and it's like damn it's all about love i'm ready for love and this is love and I'm going for it. I'm going for it. So I do feel like you are going to receive a an offer of love or you're going to make an offer of love that could lead to commitment. starts out as friendship. It does. It's after you move away from something because you move away. You make a decision. Okay. You make a decision to move away from something that is, you know, dead. You know, we have this rude awakening for somebody, whoever it is. You move away from something that is dead, and then you get this, all this love, okay? You do. I mean, that's what you get a blessing for doing the right thing. I think you were focused on a loss for a long time. Now God, angels, where's that God right there? This is called, the well, the, the, the emperor is also called the Lord. But anyway, this is a high priest. It's like somebody is sending you an offer of love, and you, you may be like, shit. I'm not ready for it, but you know, I feel like you don't, you're not meant to be alone. You're not meant to be alone. And that's just a message that I'm hearing. You're not meant, you're not meant to be alone. You're meant to be in love. And there is some love here, Aries. So I feel like you are probably dealing with a person, you know, that you're going to fall in love with after you break free from something that is totally toxic for you. You're breaking free. You're taking back control of your life. You're vibrating at a very high level and you're pulling somebody in. You're pulling somebody into your field, you know? So that's what I see. I feel like you guys have been down in the dumps for some period of time. There's been no growth. There's been no um, expansion. And it's ha you've been held back. But it looks like 
think uh, the universe, the tower is the universe, is stepping in to change your path and open your heart to wish fulfillment because of all these, this king of cups, the page of cups, the knight of cups, there's a new relationship on the horizon. Absolutely. So be prepared to receive some sort of messages or actually have somebody like come to your house. Okay, somebody could come to your house, you know, for whatever reason, to help you with something, whatever the reason, some, and you know, you, you start out as friends, and boom, 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 boom. So, just saying. Let's get one of these. I think that you guys are awakening. You're waking up. You're waking up from something. You're going through some sort of, you went through some sort of awakening. You've had some sort of epiphany that, you know, moves you away from something and leads you right into a, a new love, okay? And you're probably thinking it's not going to be love. I'm just going to help this person and or whatever. They're going to help me or whatever the case is. And then, you know starts out as friends by the looks of things it does it starts out as a crush or flirting but then you know I mean it's like love and commitment so oh my god this is exactly what this whole reading is about embrace your emotions don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions and that is what has happened it's over you aren't going to be able to push this one down I know it I know it. You can't hide from love anymore. Because your heart is about to feel the pitter patterns of butterflies. That's what I that's what I feel. This is for people that I think there's somebody getting out getting a getting out of a relationship. And they're heading right into another one. I just, I, I do feel that way. I'm not going to pretend that I don't. If you are single and you are alone, I don't feel like you are going to be lonely much longer. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, then you should go watch a video about marriage and commitment or whatever. I don't know, but this ain't the reading for you, okay? you're in a happily ever after relationship then you really don't need tarot readings and you're probably lying to yourself and that's why you're watching them <laughs> so I mean hey what can I say anyhow uh, somebody has been in a dead end situation and they're moving on and they're headed towards love happiness and probably a new commitment in which they're probably like, after they get out of this situation, they're probably like, hell no, I'm never doing that again. Don't ever, never say never. That's a true quote. Never say never. Because the minute you say never, it's over. Anyway, that's what I have for you, Aries, in January. Be prepared for to hear or feel your heart go boom, 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 boom.